Hey YouTubers, it's your boy Amari Points here bringing you the latest movie review. So today I'm doing my latest movie review on Scoob, but before I do that, I want to give a special shout out to my buddy Marlon Haynes, aka The Wise Bro, who has helped me out since the day I met him, and I really appreciate you man. Be sure to like subscribe to his channel in the description box below, I will be putting it in there at the end of this video, uh, it'll be in there, uh, I'm sorry, I'll put it in there, so you, that way you guys can subscribe, so, let's get on to it, so this movie is basically about the origin story of Scooby-Doo and his friends and how Mystery Inc. was started, so it's pretty great, a great movie, though, there is some adult humor in there that I honestly that I honestly think kids shouldn't see. Sorry guys, I am trying to get this thing so big. So anyway, like I was saying, there is a lot of funny humor and adult humor in this movie as well. But we also get to see some familiar characters in from uh, Hannah Barber, the cart uh, the cartoon company. But all in all, it was a funny movie. It was a funny movie that it was full of interesting moments. Uh, Blue Falcon and Dynoma appear in this movie, telling uh, saving Scooby and Shaggy. But we didn't get to see like w uh, the rest of Mystery Inc. Like Daphne, Fred, and Velma. We didn't get to see much of them because they were kind of like put to the side. It was basically all about Scooby and Shaggy. But all in all, it was still a fun movie that I would recommend. Every that I would recommend uh, everyone in their families to watch. Again, it did have some adult humor in this movie that I would basically that I would literally try to forget. It was funny, but there's some stuff in there that I wouldn't recommend kids seeing, like some of the adult humor in this movie. I recommend not, the kids not hearing just mute it, mute some of the adult jokes. And Dick Darrington, I believe, is his name, I forgot. He was an interesting villain. Jason Isaac, who plays the villain, he can do no wrong as the villain. I love seeing him as the villain because he's just, he's one of those iconic actors who plays a really good villain that I definitely would get behind on <clears throat> but but all in all like I but all in all to the point it was still a funny family movie that I would check out with the rest of the family and also there were some parts of the movie that were too that was trying to be too like hip and all that that I really just didn't kind of enjoy that much because it just seemed like they were just kind of like pushing it a little a little bit they were they were kind of pushing it a little bit too much which was kind of sad because it's taking place in current times and uh, that's something I think they should have worked on not having it a bit too hip and everything but Frank uh, Welker, I forgot his name, uh, who play, who's been playing Scooby-Doo for years, he's still the best actor who can play Scooby-Doo. Nobody else can play Scooby-Doo like him. And Will Forte as Shaggy, he was okay. He was okay. Though I really wish they could have gotten someone else to play Shaggy, but... But he's still a talented actor. I think he does great at, at Shaggy, though. He needs to like step up his game a little bit, but it was still interesting to watch him be this iconic character. All in all, the rest of the cast, such as, well, Ken Jong, who played Dino Mud, he was being that smart, funny dog that aids uh, Blue Falcon. 
and he's practically the smartest out of all out of his part he's practically the smartest out of his partner so well blue falcon he's kind of like scared of everything but he can be brave from time to time as most of you saw in like the trailers for scoob and everything he can be a bit brave from time to time but he can sometimes be like a big chicken no offense mark Wahlberg, who plays blue falcon he is just that good of an actor he's pretty good he's legit good playing blue falcon i love seeing him as blue falcon he's funny and uh and brings the comedic relief to to the character i again i really love this movie but there was some stuff about it that i really didn't love which i will get to later on in the positives and negatives but all but like I said, this was just a funny movie, and seeing a lot of Easter eggs and familiar faces from the past cartoons and everything, it was just so interesting and exciting. Sorry about that, that's just the lawn. As people come my lawn, uh, the lawn in front of my apartment, I apologize for that. Yeah, but it was still exciting to see all these familiar characters that we grew up with as kids because it was just, I was mind blown because I didn't expect to see that many characters. I didn't expect to see that many familiar faces in this movie. I'm interested in seeing what they'll do in the future for the Hannah Barbara Cinematic Universe because we need to see a bunch of these characters have their own movie and have, and we'll see where it's gonna take them because I'm, I'm interested in seeing what all is going to happen, but Scoob brings definitely, there was a, one scene in this movie that made me cry, I am I am not going to lie about that, it was just sad and tear jerking, uh, that I can't really go into details because I don't want to spoil the movie for anybody who hasn't seen it yet, I want you guys to go see the movie and see which scene I'm talking about, this was just a fun family friendly movie that I really enjoy and hopefully somewhere in the near future who knows we might get a sequel to it considering how good it was I I can't say I can't say yet but still but still a fun movie for the kids and the adults everyone who's been a fan of Scooby-Doo for years should check this movie out and just have a bunch of fun with it and enjoy it with the family. Enjoy it with the family and just have a good laugh. Especially especially for the adults who honestly get, will get the adult humor in this movie. Without a doubt they will get a good laugh. And that's it for my rant. On to the positives and negatives. First off are the positives. The origin story of Scooby-Doo and how him and Shaggy met. That was just uh, one of the best moments in the movie. Seeing how he, he, how Scooby and his best friend met. I mean met. I cannot talk today. <laughs> yeah. And how he got his name too. So yeah, that was just one of the best moments ever. Along with meeting Mystery Inc. Along with meeting the rest of the... Uh, mess, rest of the members of Mystery Inc. That was just enjoyable, and and a lot of other stuff that I honestly just really enjoyed. Another positive is the cast itself. They were funny. They were enjoyable. They had good chemistry in this movie, and it was nice seeing Tracy Morgan playing Captain Caveman which was honestly the best which was honestly the most funniest moment of my entire life he was just hilarious i couldn't help but laugh at the stuff he does as captain caveman because it's just good i can't tell you what all he does again trying to avoid spoilers here i don't want to spoil it for anyone who hasn't seen it yet but Tracy Morgan, he is just a funny guy that I enjoy seeing as Captain Caveman. But, and another positive is the story itself. 
it's it's great how they wrote the story and how like they made Scooby and Shaggy the center of the attention though I really wish the rest of the game could have gotten involved but I guess they wanted to focus on their focus on just Scooby and Shaggy which was okay in my opinion we wanted to see them get all the action I'm sure most of the people did the the story itself is just full of heartwarming moments great action and comedic moments which I I really enjoyed I enjoyed I enjoyed it. I'm not gonna lie and say I didn't enjoy seeing this great action packed comedic movie that is a cartoon and I grew up with uh, Scooby-Doo so yeah I I enjoyed seeing this great story and how and where and where it uh, led and the negatives let's talk about the negatives first off like I said earlier is the weird is the weird hippie moments which was not sitting well with me I thought that that could have been left out of the movie because I think it could have been better if they did leave the hippie moments out that stuff that type of stuff kind of like really dimmed it down for me I just really didn't get it at all and it just really didn't click because because it just wasn't all that good I'm sorry it wasn't and the adult humor again the adult humor could have been left out because this is supposed to be a kids movie not something that it kids won't understand because I get I get they want to add a little bit of adult humor in this movie but some stuff could have been left out that's just some of all the adult humor it could have been left out of the movie it really could have I'm sorry and that's it for my positives and negatives on to the rating I give Scoob the movie a solid A minus because it was good but the adult humor it didn't really need to be in there like I said before it could have been cut out <clears throat> the rest of the cast and the story were perfect and I just really want might watch it again because this is sort of a movie that people can rewatch again with their kids and their loved ones. So yeah, this is something you will definitely want to check out and have a fun time with. Trust me, I know all of you who watch this movie will have a fun time. And that's it for my movie review. Don't forget to like, comment down below on what you thought. Subscribe and share with everyone you know and press the little notification bell at the bottom of my video to get notified when my next movie review is going to be. And be sure to follow me on the Stardust app at Amari106 for my latest movie slash trailer reaction. I will see you all soon. Take care and God bless. Peace.